Okay, hi there. Uh, just going to give it a little go at a video tutorial. So once you've got your interview footage and you've edited it with the film clip, you're going to end up with your interview lasting approximately one minute and then the fish tank clip, which is going to happen in the second and third minutes. So this presents a bit of a problem. If you've already been working on the fish tank clip in Pro Tools, then your audio is going to start at time zero. So what we need to do is shunt all the audio and all your markers up by the length of the interview to allow you room to then work on the audio for your interview. Okay, because what we want for your final submission is everything in one Pro Tools session. So we want your interview video at the beginning, smoothly edited into the fish tank clip, and we want to see your interview audio on separate tracks here in Pro Tools, and then the fish tank audio here. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is insert some time into your Pro Tools session. That is, if you've already been working on uh, marking out the the fish tank clip, because what we're going to need to do is shunt those markers along. So what you need to do is find out how the length of your interview video. So what I've got here is a um, sample session from last year. So what we can do is if we go to window and video, we can see the video, and here are the guys in their in their interview, and if we've got the command focus on here, I can use the question mark key to shunt along through the video, or I can just go to round about one minute here and find the start of the video. Okay, so now if I use this nudge command, the question mark key, or the two kind of greater than or less than keys, I can find the start of the clip. Okay, so Let's use those. Okay, so here's the start of the clip. And what I can do is make a note of this time here. Okay, so the clip, the interview length is one minute. Uh, sorry, it's one minute. Ignore that first one. It's one minute, eleven seconds, and three uh, and three frames. I think that's saying. Okay, so one minute, eleven seconds, and three frames. Okay, that's really important. So now. We'll just get rid of that for the moment. What we're going to do is remember that one minute, 11 seconds and three frames. And we're going to go back to the start of the project and go to events. And we want time operations. Oop. So we go to insert time. OK, now we're going to start at the beginning, which is indicated by this. You always have zero one, not zero zero for the start. OK, and our length is going to be one minute here, 11 seconds and three frames. OK, and we want to realign everything. We want to realign all our meter tempo key. That's not so important here, but all our markers and all our um, markers and tracks. OK, we can go into what tick based and sample based markers means, but basically we want to do everything. OK, so we're going to apply that. Just check on that's that's happy there. Okay, do you see the the end automatically um, goes up there uh, once once Pro Tools has calculated the length, added the length to the start. So the end should be one minute longer than the the length here. Okay, not one minute longer than length. It should be the same. Okay, but we we indicate the position by uh, zero one is the first position, not zero zero. Okay, here we go. Right, so we've added that amount of time in at the beginning. So here is our video track. Let's drag that back to the start of the session. Let's drag our guide audio back to the start of the session. Okay, and now we should find that when we get to the um, when we get to the start of the clip, our markers should all be perfectly lined up. Okay, enjoy. Good luck.